leaving our place and heading over to that land clearing job I got going on last time. Uh, bring in the old tractor to uh, do a little bush hog and move some stuff around. And I would say there is a pretty good chance, not 100%, but a pretty good chance that the tractor will not break down in the middle of this job. kind of give you a lay of the land here's the deal I uh, got a bush hog this area here this is where I cleaned out that metal fence the other day so it should be good to go there's some small trees I'll probably end up cutting anyway bush hog this area here and I think all of this stuff this is more trees so I gotta like hog it and cut it hog it and cut it and then around back more bush hogging this is that stand of pines we're kind of getting back to, so it looks like I gotta take out a couple more walnuts in there. This is one of those jobs that just keeps on giving. Uh, getting down in there just a little bit and I'm just sorting stuff with the hand grapple. Found a nice old short shovel out here. The tools are just popping up. We got a pick. I think I kind of did a number on the tip here, but I'm thinking we can restore it. Maybe lacking a handle. Oh yeah, it took a few dings. And we got the shovel, so I think what we're missing is probably the rake. There are a few of these guys you'll kind of see. We've got a volunteer maple coming up under this chestnut tree. So kind of nip it out and clean it up few of these little stumps too. That's the maple piled up. It was right here. So yeah, it just kind of cleans up and helps to find the chestnut.
here's a look at the scorched earth back here. It's a little nastified, but I kept this black walnut. I don't know if she wants it, but I kept it. She wants me to take it out. I'll take it out later, but right now we got a little stealth cherry hiding back in there. That's got to go. Not a cherry. So after taking out that bush, I went ahead and picked up the green beast just to do some hauling. This is all stuff that was on site. I didn't cut any of this stuff. So I still gotta chop it up a little bit. There's a lot of stuff to haul out of here, but she was talking to me about a yew bush by the house. I gotta find the yew bush. She wants that taken out. So I was out working with my son at one point a while back. He was like 17 or 18 or something like that. And we were repairing a driveway, like a trashed out gravel driveway. And I think I said something like, man, it'd be nice to have like a loader, you know, a, a bucket or a scraper or something. And he looked at me and he said, dad, never underestimate the power of two guys with a couple of shovels to get some stuff done. And it's so true, just working, in this case, without a shovel, but steady. You can get some stuff done. Before we wrap it up, let me just show you, tell you where we're at. So we're at ground zero right here. This is the house, right? So this is getting there. It's pretty cleared over here. That big old stand's gotta go. That's gonna be in a future episode. Trees need to come down. Big boy has gotta come down. Cedars have to come down. So, so future episodes, you're gonna see some trees coming out. All these lilacs have to go for the house cedar and some ash in the background so some big trees have to come down i don't think i got this on camera but this is around back i did brush hog a lot of this stuff so back in there and took a few trees out so we're kind of getting back in there it needs to be tidied it's just kind of like a rough cut and this area needs to be bush hogged problem is it's got all kinds of debris and things I mean, I'm not saying that a nice bathtub isn't an asset, but when you're clearing land, it's just a little bit of an inconvenience. So there's some stuff like this. There's a couch back over there. And pretty much everywhere I look, there's evidence of structures. Like this is a old foundation right here. A bunch of blocks and stuff. Somebody's speaker system. Trash. All right, so that wraps up episode two of the land clearing job. Thanks for checking it out. It goes without saying, like I think it's pretty obvious. It should be obvious. And this is not like a how-to video. There are plenty of really good, substantial how-to videos on the YouTube, but this is just a story of how I did it. And I appreciate you checking it out.
So what do we think? Is that like a quality packing job? 